What's going on guys and gals? This is AutoTech. So today I've got a super simple yet very beneficial thing to put on the FJ09. Rear swing arm spools that also act as a slider. So we're going to go ahead and get started installing these. I'll show you how to torque them down, where they go, and then we're going to talk a little bit about the benefits of them and why I think you should get the ones that act as a slider as well. I grabbed this set from a company called OES Accessories. I had dealt with them before when it came to frame sliders. They're actually pretty well reviewed on the internet when it comes to crash testing. There's been a few people that have dropped their bikes or laid them down and they uh, reviewed the sliders quite well actually. So if you notice here, there's a divot, no threads, but this one has threads. So they supply you with the slider and with the bolt, which requires a five millimeter Allen key. We're going to apply a little bit of blue Loctite to that and then thread it into there. One thing I just thought of, if your bike has some miles on it, clean out those threads before you start jamming in the new bolt. So now we're just going to touch that down and then we're going to switch to the torque wrench. Now, oh yes, didn't include a torque spec for this. It's a six millimeter bolt. So uh, five foot pounds will definitely be more than enough to torque that down. So, exact same thing for this side. If your bike's got some time on it, seen some weather, make sure you clean out those holes, and then you're gonna put blue Loctite on and thread it in, touch it down. And then we're gonna torque that to five foot pounds again. So, there you have it. Nice two minute install. Almost wasn't even worth showing you guys that, but for some people it might come in handy. Um, the reason I think you should go with the slider style is it's not actually that much bigger. Like your typical spool is still going to be right about there. So you're only really adding like a half inch, three quarters of an inch. And uh, like it doesn't, doesn't stick out very far. But now in the event you ever lay your bike down, you're going to catch this and then you're going to catch this. So you're not going to wreck your swing arm. A real quick way to write your bike off is frame damage. And, uh, you know, if you screw the hell out of your swing arm, even if you just grind it up really good, that could be enough for someone to basically fail it, say it's no good anymore. So if you're already buying the spools, which are kind of a must have for working on a bike, like, yeah, this one has a belly stand, but the suspension is hung, like it's hanging, so my chain, you know, like that's not an accurate way to gauge it. And um, I just feel more secure working off of stands than I do uh, working off the belly stand. So it's definitely something that you should definitely invest in. All right, so let me show you guys why the rear spools are kind of a must have. You take your rear stand and I like that stuff to do one-handed. And there you go. So now, if you have to work on your chain, your suspension is loaded and you're where you should be. So now you can do your repairs as necessary. This one wouldn't be too handy though if you were doing that rear shock or something like that. Just keep that in mind. Don't go unbolting that if you're on the rear stand because this would come up. So there you have it, nice quick easy install, something that's uh, beneficial for your bike and something that's beneficial for if you're working on it. So let me know what, uh, what brand of spools you guys are running or if you even bother because I'm sure you could just put a bolt in there and lift it up like that with the rear stand. Let me know if you have any questions and make sure you go on and hit that subscribe button.